Continuing coverage tonight, a public hearing set for tomorrow discussing the incentives bill to bring Foxconn to Wisconsin. Both Republicans and Democrats agree the new facility is a huge deal for the state. However, some are concerned about the environmental impact. NBC 26's Cassandra Duval is live at six now with more information. Stacy, the Foxconn deal includes plans to build a plant in southern Wisconsin, but before that happens, the legislature must sign off on a $3 billion incentive package. The bill must be passed by the end of September, and that's part of the deal with Foxconn. A public hearing on the proposal scheduled for tomorrow, just six days after the draft of the plan was released. There are concerns, though, among Democrats and even some Republicans with how quickly legislation is moving, especially in regards to environmental issues. Part of the deal proposes to waive state environmental permit requirements and other regulations to help speed up construction. We spoke with Republican State Senator Roger Roth of Appleton, who says he met with Foxconn CEO personally and believes the company will not hurt the environment. We're going to expedite the process to make sure that we're not being an impediment to the construction, but they, they will absolutely comply with, with state and federal law when it comes to environmental uh, controls. Senator Roth says he is okay with taking time to get this measure passed, making sure all questions are answered. The public hearing about the Foxconn deal starts tomorrow at 1.30 in the Joint Finance Committee room at the State Capitol. Keeping you connected, Cassandra Duval, NBC 26. Well, time now for your first forecast. Matt Hoffman, Hoffman rather.